What's up YouTubers? Today's video's focus is all about a pretty cool all-in-one liquid cooler from Cryo Rig. This is the A40 we're going to have a look at. Uh, we're going to start with an unboxing, look at the product in a little bit more detail, and of course we shall be testing it. But I am actually going to split the video into two parts. So do check around for an annotation or a link for part two, which is the thermal testing. So Cryo Rig, really briefly, just seemed to pop out of nowhere. Um, and we've seen quite a few of their products this year, from their small top-down cooler to their big extreme dual uh, dual fan ah, dual what dual fan uh, extreme coolers, which have delivered absolutely insane performance uh, visually and design-wise. They are just epic. Um, I'm really, really excited about what Cryo Rig's going to have, you know, coming in the future. But without further ado, what we need to do is have a tour of the new product, as far as I know. This is just hitting the review as now, so I'm going to get this video straight out to you guys so you can have a little bit of a look and make a judgment. Is this the product for you or not? Right then, this is how the product arrives. I will give you the chance to pause the video if you want to read out every single little feature and spec, but I'll just pick out the main ones. For compatibility, you are good to go for all of Intel for the major. The only thing you don't have is the legacy. 775 but let's be realistic you can't expect brands to keep on supporting it it's done it's dusted it's finished amd you're good to go so obviously this is a 240 mil rad we've got dual fans and as i say pause it if you wish but i'm going to move on to the next part of the box and then we'll get inside around here again you can pause the video but i will just briefly cover this What's different about this product is the extra airflow fan which sits directly on top of the actual cooling unit which is aiming to kill that heat around that area. And again if you want to abuse that pause button and read it all yourself go for it now. In a nutshell fast easy installation thick radiator. And finally A40 on here. Cryo rig written here. Now let's have a look what's inside. First thing to mention, the cam doesn't quite see it, but I will read it out for you. This will be the exception. You do want to register your product because it grants you an extra three years warranty, which is pretty cool. And there's just a little guide on how to do that here. And the obvious benefits, you get some VIP membership, uh, your direct premium support, and all that kind of shiz is. First thing I'll pull out is the fans. Now, I'm not going to jump the gun and be naive and say these are going to be good, but based on past experience with other Cryo Rig products, I'm pretty confident that there should be a good balance between noise and performance. Now, in terms of the actual visuals, it doesn't pop out. You don't notice it straight away, but there are some rubber pads around all four corners, which is going to help deal with the noise. Cable length, I'm going to guess... That's about 30 centimeters or so, sleeved right up to the edge. Uh, the only negative I will mention is this, which is the rainbow effect. I really do prefer when brands black these out. However, it is quite fitting for Cryo Rig's own sort of logo. So I will dismiss it and say it's not that big of a deal. So obviously got two of those and then the cooler I will pull out separately. But this is the interesting part of the product. This is what tackles the heat of the actual core block and we will explore it in a little bit more detail but you can see that it runs at 3000 RPM but it is a 4 pin PWM header so that will be automatically tamed whether it be in software or in your bio so don't assume that's going to be causing a lot of racket because it won't. And then we actually have the cooler itself, which I'll pull out now and we'll take a closer look. Right, and so this is the cooler. Let's be realistic. There's not a mass amount to talk about. It is chunky. It is 38 mils, which is bigger than most. Not all, but most coolers. They tend to be quite slim. Now that's good for compatibility, but for the sake of performance, a thicker radiator is generally better. Now that always comes down to uh, build quality and material, but generally, nine times out of ten, a thicker radiator is what you want. Now we're going to have a really brief look at the block. On the rear here we've obviously got some thermal paste applied. We've got this protective pad on. I'm trying to keep it on so I don't get covered. Got a Cryo Rig logo around the edge. And then if the cam behaves you will notice there is a header here, 4 pin header. That is where that little fan is going to connect directly to and draw its power from. So don't worry about trying to plug it in anywhere on the motherboard. We do have two little clips here. 
or the fan to connect to and I will bring that in and do that in a moment. Now the tubing is a decent amount of length. I'm going to guess but I will confirm it with an annotation. That is about 45 to 50 centimeters of tubing length. In terms of flex it is nice and soft and you can see you can get quite tight curvature on there before any kinking is going to be an issue. Now cabling, you'll notice there's quite a few different things going on here. We have this 4-pin PWM, 3-pin uh, header, sorry. And then it also branches off to a Y cable, if I can just get them to be here. Which is here, this is where your fans are going to connect to and draw power from. And then you have this. This is the actual main power point, if you like. This is where your power is going to come from, from a SATA connector. So you've got power going in to the product. This is actually more likely just a readout, which I will confirm. Annotation again, and then two fans from here. So I do like the idea of everything being into one. Uh, if you're quite creative with your cabling, you should be able to neaten that up around your CPU area. So that's pretty much it. There isn't a great deal to say. Obvious and first impressions are really good. I don't see anything in terms of cause for concern. I'll briefly show you guys the mountain kit, but um, I would expect, without even looking at it, it's going to be a very generic approach where you've just got a different bracket for different socket types. And that's exactly what we have. The cooler comes default, ready to install for Intel. You will swap it out for this one if you're going for AMD. And you will use the complement and back player. And for Intel, it's this one. And we have different bolts because 2011 uses different thread size. And then you've obviously got these screws for your fans. So that is my first look at the Cryorig A40. I will continue in the next part of the video with a thermal performance overview. I have a few coolers to compare to and we shall see how it does.